Today on the show... I'm not oh, really missing it. Started. I need a refill. Back at the rover, and uh, time to take the panel fit from kind of chucked on to chucked on and getting a little warmer. So panel fit is really, it is the most critical thing. Uh, once I'm happy with the way it fits, the, it's it's just a straight up, you know, very repeatable process, but fit is really the thing. So what we've got, I'm gonna start on the driver's side, just because I'm standing here. Um, we've got, Pretty reasonable gaps between the panels. Not too disappointed there. That all looks pretty good. This door fitting reasonably well. Pretty reasonable between the doors. I'm actually pretty satisfied with that for a car that are notoriously bad there. I cannot see any way that we're not going to have to move this over. So never start by adjusting the panels or uh, changing the panels. Get everything that is absolutely not negotiable close first and then, okay, well, it seems that in order to get this gap reasonable, we're, you know, it's actually not bad here. It gets tight there. So, rather than move this ahead an eighth of an inch, which will make this gap really big and look bad, I would rather just fold that door edge in a little tiny bit tighter. As you see, I've marked it there. If we move that door ahead so that that's not touching, then we have to move this door ahead to keep the gap reasonable. And the gap is already tight here. So if I move that door ahead, then it's this door that's rubbing. So since we're happy here, here, and here, and at the rocker, and uh, you know, this we didn't touch. So that's nice. Um, this is leaded originally. This whole area, the fender is actually led to this, so. um, but it's, I think it's done after it's bolted on. Anyway, that's not too big of a deal, but what it comes down to is if I want this gap to be much nicer than it was when, like, originally these gaps are quite big, so I'm trying to minimize that. I'm going to nick that, just zing that there, fold this a tiny bit tighter here, just, just that. So that one little change is going to make this whole side of the car look better. That looks nice. I'm going to move the fender up, even though it means I might have to tap this down and bring this edge of the door up. Um, I'm going to move the fender up because it's hanging down a bit here. So in the end, I think it's easier to adjust this to look nice than it is to uh, try and live with that hanging off of there. The thing with panel fit is it's a sixteenth here and a sixteenth there. You know, sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes you get twenty or thirty thou and it's just the difference between it bugging your eye and not bugging your eye. Overall though, pretty happy. This is the uh, side of the car that was hit, so this side of the car is uh, going to be, um, you know, a real challenge to make it look nice. I'm feeling pretty good about it so far though. Okay, let's get busy. I'm going to start with this, with the top of this door, number one. There's my uh, repaired door corner. And uh, now you can see we have a nice even eighth of an inch gap. I wish it was more, but instead we're really fighting with this center one here. So just trying to square this up. I had to move the bottom of this door out. Uh, that was probably just bent from being moved around. So anyway, sorted that out. Now these run true all the way up to here. You can see I was doing some sanding. This edge curls in and so does this one here. And we don't want too much of that. I don't want the panels to get too much of this. A little bit can be inevitable. But uh, anyway, so next I'm gonna just try and so I don't, I don't really want this heart-shaped uh, gap here. So we're going to bring that out so that these are tangent to each other. 
not really see it, but maybe you can see it. They go like this and they dip in. So there's the highlight there and a bit there. I'm just gonna dolly those out. And you'll be able to see very quickly the sanding block that we're getting close. Right, this is probably make it easier. That's a little easier, you can see quite clearly what we're talking about. These are just rolled in for whatever reason. Pretty tight up here. A little bit's okay, you know, but these big flat spots here, it'll just make it look kind of less than it should. So take three seconds, we'll tap those out and see how it looks. I'm going to rough this in a bit first rather than make just a bunch of noise. It's quite a bit, you know. see that gap is large there. That's what we wanted. That's, that's half the job. You can see the sanding bar showing right out to the edge now. And everything else feeling pretty good. I had to knock down a big kind of eyebrow in it here. And you know a certain amount of pillowiness is, uh, is uh, on a lot of vehicles. But if we're sitting here, uh, anyhow, Let's get this guy now. Same thing. Tap, tap, tap. We're running out of battery, so I'll just cut to the big dramatic finish here. Gonna leave it there for now. I'm happy with how that's coming along. It's nice and even down there. And nice and even all the way top to bottom there. And a nice scab coming along at the bottom of the door here. And a little tight here. I believe it was Pretty nice and even here and anyhow you can see how this can take a while this is what makes it look good though it's got to look like something special you know uh, I'm gonna go see what kind of mess the menace has made and we'll get back on the rover as soon as I can looking pretty good for a first flight toss though Okay, more panel fit up today. I got the latches in. Colin brought them over. So we've just loosely installed these now. Here, nothing is even clean yet. We're just like, we, you know, the thing is, once you oil this up, it becomes very difficult to paint this. So we just have to make sure that it all, you know, the idea is that it will work when you put it together for the final time. Basically, a complete mock up probably put marks somewhat just little knife nicks where the corners are something like that so that even when you paint over it you'll know something like that and these are not adjustable so that's nice so those you just hammer on uh, anyway do the same thing here got a lot of fine tuning to do this has all been replaced inside and out so time to finalize this edge a bit Gotta tighten that up. Flatten that out, tighten it up, just sharpen it up. But it's uh, once you you know it's hard to go back. That's why I always I'm kind of sneaking up on it because I'm just not good enough to get it the first try. Now we're getting happy here. Having put the latch in, we've discovered the main problem is that this surface here, because we moved the door back so much, I can see now. I mean, I don't know how they all ended up this way, but it wants to rub there. It's so close. And yet the gap here is still 
as absolutely as big as I could put up with it. I think we start with making something that we can look at, make her final decisions on some of these heights. I'm not really looking at the moldings. I have a feeling we'll be offsetting some of these holes to kind of cheat everybody in line. And that'll be fine. You'll never see it 16th of an inch along the length of the car, but make a big difference in having all that nice, nicely fit. Anyway, tricks to that too. Rear one, fitting actually quite well. Again, slightly different angle here. This whole area is going to need a little bit of work. This was all heavily leaded in. So, reasonable good fit though, so far. Where are we going to start? I think we have to start here and see how much of that can be adjusted out. Maybe the bottom of the door can come in a bit. Prefer not to, but yeah, or the fender's got to come out, but the fender's already out. So, you know, if we move that out and repair the bottom of the fender, just ignore that. Everything else is perfect. So it's just the bottom of the fender is kind of not fitting. So I would rather, since I was going to cut that off anyway, I'll just make that fit nicely. The rest of it is really good. Maybe you could go a little more. I think I'm going to take a hammer and I'm going to beat this door edge down a bit, I think, because it seems to stick up. Maybe we'll get a file and check that out. Let's see. Looks like the door all the way to about there. So starting here. The door so is the fender too low, or the door too high, or both. Well, the door seems to be out. This is the thing. If they look good on the table and you sand them and block them and you put them together and they go like that, it's going to look bad. Okay. What's going on here? I think the door has just been sprung. For whatever reason, it's flared out of the front corner. looking good though. Feeling good about that. So let's take that as something that is there. That's kind of what we're after. Uh, it's hard to see but there's a little gap at the at the straight edge at the door there. So you can open the door, tap that out until you see 
with the door a little better. A little bit of a challenge here. Uh, see, I'm just taking the file to it. And there's quite a high spot throughout here. And that's fine. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of iron it that way. And bring the edge to a little tighter corner. Like you can see up here, a little tighter. This is a bit round looking. And since we want to try and move some of this metal, it's, uh, you know, it's okay. But that's, uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. We'll have a look at it after I have primed it. No, I'm just kidding. Is that really the best we can do here? starting to get pretty close along here. I'm banging all my way up this fold here, tightening it up. So you can see the difference. I don't know if you can tell. It's nice and square looking there. Still looks a little round bit here. So just going down, tapping this corner back, tightening that radius up. And it also has the bonus that it pushes this edge out. Then this isn't the high spot. That gets rid of our pillowiness. So, Revisiting the driver's front fender on the Rover, uh, just cleaning up inside, and we can see most of it's really good. I mean, that's all just fine. We've got one pit there, and I'd really like to get behind in between here. You can see it's corroded. This is a little brace that we can save. But I was bending this 
and I can see a crack here and I'm like, you know what, this is all going to, it's not going to be as good as I want. So I'm going to come right through here and take this little piece off and we're just going to fold a new corner on there, put the tab back on or make a new one, whatever. So that's, uh, that's got to be done. I want to do that today because we got to get things on the road here. This piece here also pretty, pretty shit. So, put it over there. I thought, about it. yeah, good to get in behind there because that's going to be a problem. Okay, and here we have the thing, which fits pretty nicely there. So, then we're just going to fold this here right over. So if we were going to leave it this way, we'd have to shrink and stretch it. But since we're going basically a 180, this length will end up back where it was. So it's going to make it a little awkward to fold. And it looks like I could be, looks like it could be a tiny bit tighter there, but it's really, it's pretty minor. Shouldn't take very long. Let's try it. Got our garbage trimmed out of the way. And again, it's not like this was really bad, but might as well, right? We see, got our piece here. Let's just see if this will go in there. I'm just making it extra large. I always like to sneak up on it if I can. And just tap that in there. Got a profile, pretty good, no real gap there. So just for roughing it on, not bad. I think we're going to throw this back on the car just because it's absolutely imperative that it lines up nice with the door and the rocker. Okay, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do this with one hand. So from here, I'm going to take it back to the car. Now that I think it's close, I'm going to do the final fit on the car uh, just because that's the only fit that matters is how it looks on the car. But so far so good. And we'll put a few tacks on the car, take it back off, bring it over here and finish it. So I mentioned last week that I had uh, lost a bunch of footage because of a microphone cord failure. One of the things that I filmed was this exact repair on the other side of the car. So, uh, Anyway, since I lost that, I decided to cut the back of this perfectly good fender off just for laughs. You're supposed to laugh. So anyway, since we've done that, let's, uh, let's trim it up. Right man this dog, trying to hold the fender <laughs> the best I can in the plane it will be on the car. This is not any better than what I had. There. So, I'm gonna put a couple of tacks in and then we'll go throw it at the car. There. There's a little piece installed. It's done there. Still gotta do the inside. I wanna take it over to the car and just make sure that this matches the rocker from here down and the door from here up. So here's an easy chance to, you know, really fine tune that stuff. And if we get it nice and should look uh, like nothing ever happened. When I got looking at it, you can see, there you can see light through it. And just that little, just that little bit of right underneath the cut there, see that? That's all it's showing, but when you sanded it, it didn't go away, so. Sure enough. Anyhow, so we're well, well beyond the damage here. We still have to install that guy. But I want to quickly throw it at the car first and just uh, fiddle with that.
Let's see how close we are. Should be close already. Okay. fits about as well as I could hope. I don't want it any different than that. Really, you know, it just, no, that's exactly where I want it. Okay, that's a good place to stop, I guess. Look at that, another day shot and it looks exactly like it did today. Well, nice to see that done though. That's a good repair. That's how we should do it. This one's for our buddy Kyle Carter at Carter Auto Restyling. Thanks for the handy tip about uh, a little bit of welding and grinding. Awesome buddy. I used the Kyle Carter technique on that repair. Very happy with that. Go check out Kyle. He's awesome. Back at the gym estate. Let's see what's happening. What's that gym guy doing? Oh, is he in there? Jim! Oh, just driving around? Oh, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, looks like a guy here. who just finished a day at the office. Yeah, such a grind day. Eh? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, hey, I remember this car. Yeah, right? Oh, look at that. It's, it's better all than marked ever. in. Yeah. yeah Damn. No, Ready for a bit of Jeez, uh, sanding and painting. And yeah, that's the easy stuff. Yeah, for once it looks better than you remember it. Okay? Yeah, it looks, uh, oh, and kind of got her tidied up. Yeah. I don't, uh, we're going to have to do a quick review, not for the viewer's sake, just for mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whereabouts, Whereabouts we are, were we? Well, oh, you got that guy. Yeah, that's good. This guy's on the scene now, on the job. Right. Certain amount of question marks. In that yeah, right. We're going to have to fabricate some answers to those questions and yeah the do? top corner needs some this is some some issues in here yeah. okay well but and some lead the, uh, some lead to get rid of there before we can go too far you know, lead removal yeah everything else kind of buttoned up is this where we left it yeah haven't touched it okay as i recall we left we were pretty happy with how everything was fitting oh yeah yeah everything i mean for good. for where we're at anyway yeah, and you can get this yeah, to a kind little of bit of this and that. Yeah. Fit, and then go from it 
and okay. then see what we need well, to do to make. Easy enough to put this back where it was, and then, uh, yeah, something's going on here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, right on. What else you got going on? It smells like you lit a fire for us. Yeah, yeah, I thought I needed to try and warm things up a bit in here. Nice. You got some cats going? Yeah, cats. Got a hat on the car now. Cat and a hat. Yeah, Alex was <laughs> nice enough to, uh, him and Don, I think, uh, put that hat on the car. It looks really, if you can stand back, it looks really fitting on the car. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, kind of looks like an old mine worker or something. Is this the one you had at Tractor Pulls? Yeah, you bet. Oh, oh, it's going to be hard to work now. Yeah, I just want to sit here. here. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Sit too. in here. Yeah, we could just sit oh, here. It's all just yeah, laid out for, yeah, I got my roof lined up to the other roof. Oh, yeah, it's lined up. Yeah, it's lined up. That's half the go. battle, as we yeah. know. Yeah, it really saved the day. Oh, that's going to be huge, it's man. It's got all the inner, so you'll just well, have to fucking that, I mean, that, the little spot that That makes there. this actually doable now. Yeah, because then... Cause all these like crummy this is posts, poofy and, too, right? Yeah. Like, but everything is this... it was all rolled and smashed. But now that, because you can get these pieces, that tells you oh, where you that's got to live. Yeah. Oh yeah, so well. This whole piece will be a. Oh, this is a lifesaver. Yeah. Oh, that was that was. I mean, that's that's as good as a living a whole other truck. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, it's good because you know you got not much to oh, do, so kind you're kind of running yeah. out of things to do now. Look at how shit this roof was, eh? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, that's a that's game a changer. Yeah. Didn't, you said Al found that. Al found like, it. Like what a fluke, eh? He was eh? roofing and it was leaned up against somebody's garage. And it's the early one. Yeah. Well, I think they're the same up to Are 67. They? So okay. It's pretty wide range to get, but. Uh, Unbelievable. It's so good. It's original paint. It's straight. It's got all the inner structure. You can see that mine's all buckles and crumbs. Oh, yeah. Yours is garbage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, this whole, well, I mean, this van was barely saveable without a new roof. Oh, I just, au contraire. You should see what they're saving for a van. Over they Europe. start building a van out of this. <laughs> <laughs> You're way ahead of those guys. Those guys are suckers. Yeah. Yeah, you got this cherry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this, even this side's rotten. The whole thing oh, is the whole thing is junk. Yeah. It just wore out that roof. Wore out? <laughs> yeah, they just used it up. In they the used it up, yeah. And it was only, it was off the road in 71, so it was some hard roof use. Yeah, that's some hard roof years. Yeah. Just about ready to go. Yeah. Ready yeah, to rock good. and roll. And mercury put away. Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, hanging out. So you got your back. motorcycle done? Oh, yeah. You got bagged out or what? <laughs> you got a couple of things on the go here, by the looks of it. Yeah, too much stuff on the go. Couple of things. Maybe it all just needs to go. It all needs, yeah, but then <laughs> what? <laughs> and you just replace it with more of the same. Yeah, more of the same stuff, yeah. Well, these are keepers. Yeah, yeah. Right? These I mean, are if keepers. you're a VW guy, you gotta have that. You gotta have an yeah. oval. Yeah, you're not allowed to sell a Continental after all this. No, no. So, yeah, I heard you sold my old Mercedes. <laughs> I just wasn't German enough to own it. So That's right, we had to find very, somebody. Very German individual. Good thing. Yeah. Hey, did you never get a plate on this? No, no, no. Ooh, close though. I think that's my new shtick is that I just don't <laughs> get a plate You always get closer stuff. and closer. I had it in transit, so I did drive it. Well. I did put a plate on it. Is that Hey, what size? Halves. Halves, yeah. You got something? Yeah, yeah. You want to draw around the other hinge? Yeah. I think this is the right thing to do. Deadening on it. A little easier to work on. Tonight's mission, at least part of it, or as far as we get, you know, made this ages ago. So we're going to try fine tuning to do before that's going in there. This piece is correct, but there's actually a, 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 a piece missing here. Yeah. So that will be something we have to make up from scratch. Uh, so I guess we might as well get stuck in right away on the shitty part here. Start here.
went into this thing. Oh, no way. It's worse than the Rover. <laughs> I thought that thing was a lead sled. Just the whole lead, edge right? is lighted out. That's how they get, yeah, look at that. That's how they get their That's how they uh, get edges. those nice gaps. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's cool. Huh. Look at even the, even all the edges of the panel gaps have been leaded out. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So we were sitting there meticulously trying to fit everything so carefully to edges that were just completely carved up anyway. <laughs> right, the whole but, shape of it. Yeah. Well, look at, hey, like. That's not like a little bit. No, that's a... And there was more rust under there too, see that? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was rusting underneath, so it would have bulged out eventually. So we're going to try and replace that. That is just a shambles here. This is... Okay. Uh, I'll start cutting and... Yeah. Well, this is the last big fitting job. We can't oh, yeah. put anything together until this is on. A little bit. Yeah, okay. Looks like... Okay. That edge is just very small, so this will... That's okay. Though. You just want to... You have a hammer or a... a you know, all that stuff. All, all it's all that all easy. Here. You Shit, all these beer bottles. And we got some beer bottles. Garbage here, here yeah. We may have a bit of a problem. Well, we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. Like if we've got lots, let's just cut a bunch of this off because it's just going to make our life harder. Yeah. If we take a little bit at a time until we get something that fits, a lot less screwing around. Well, I'm going to cut that. Because I just made this an arbitrary length, right? Yeah. Yeah, just to get yourself out of the woods. Yeah, well, just have to keep going. It's just going to suck. It's just going to yeah. be a pain in the ass. No, that's exactly what this is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it is, yeah. There, it already that's looks less hopeless. I so. just led the shape in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bash and fill. Okay, I'm gonna uh, unfold it here yeah. to here and then we're gonna shrink it. You know what we should do? We should make a profile oh, yeah, of yeah. this edge from the other side. If you want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from here to here. There, start trunk, start yeah. from the corner of the trunk lid jam. Yeah. And, uh, and just make a, a profile that goes eight or ten inches up there. Because then we will force this to fit in there, to fit that profile. Because we might be in better shape than I thought here. This will be good. I'm going to unfold this lip from here to here. Then we're going to put it in the shrinker and we're going to pull some shape into that. Outside is the outside of the car, yeah? So that's here? Yeah, and it's lined up there. You can see, right? Oh yeah, well that much. You need to put about a quarter inch in there. See it? Yeah, I guess we can almost see it. Anyway, getting pretty close in there. That actually looks pretty decent. We can't weld this to anything until the quarter's on, right? Yeah. So we're kind of still going to have to what? hold our horses till the quarter's on for the final time. Right on. A little bit of time, buddy. What are you making there? Uh, well, eventually it'll be a three dimensional curved Object. piece, yeah. Right now <laughs> it's just a scrap. Saved from uh, yeah, its ultimate demise. Yeah. So being oh, there's the three garbage. straight lines, eh? Hey? They don't give lines, that yeah. ring to just anybody, buddy. No, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of 
guys quit it too, but uh, that's right. A lot of guys, you know, a lot of guys, anybody can make two parallel lines, <laughs> but let's see you do the third. Does this bumper really fit that well? Oh, yeah, good. very high end car. <laughs> Did you bolt this in or what? No, it's just jammed in there. Really? Yeah. God damn. Forgot eh? how good a work you did. It's almost eh? like we knew what we were doing. <laughs> Pretty nice for just an old demo derby bash em up car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not bad for an old derby banger. <laughs> yeah, at the shop today we were looking at uh, 50 years of the Lincoln. Oh, yeah? And uh, yeah. It was an interesting picture of, yeah, there's a Continental 1, 2, it was just all the Continentals, so yeah. Mark 3, 4, Stop. oh, and there was like the first, like a 1920s one. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so a lot of the picture would be easy to recreate. This car, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, a couple well, we of can, with Dean. We can get fours and fives all yeah, day long fours from and Dean. Fives, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was there ever a time when you could give these away? Pretty no, I don't think no. so. Like that book I was reading about Continentals is for, a lot of the excerpts are from 1965. Uh huh. Yeah, and guys are collecting. And, and guys yeah. are already collecting these ones. Oh, yeah. Next step uh, tighten up that line a little bit and then you try and put a little bit of a reverse into here. But that may not work so well. But that's what your race is for. We've got a nice radius hammer here. Rossin Symphony Orchestra presents yeah. the sounds of schlubbing volumes. Featuring <laughs> the all schlub all stars. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite schlubbing hit. <laughs> schlubbing to the oldies. <laughs> Just a... So it looks like it only really has to curve a bit yeah. in one direction. Or almost hardly at all. Yeah, really? You got to curve a little bit that way. Yeah. Good. Okay, yeah. That That'll work cool. nice. Okay. I'll keep fine tuning my junker here. This piece is just a lot harder than it looked at first. Stretch this through Better here. Stretching, yeah. Okay. A little hump in it there, which is what I was after. Okay. There is the piece. So that doesn't really hurt my feelings, actually. Again, it'll sit right in there once we cut the pieces out that it's laying on top of, but that gets us a long way towards something that'll work. Oh yeah, the joint. And uh, again, we're, if we're within three-eighths of an inch of where it's supposed to be, it's better than new. So, yeah, right, let me see yours. Yeah, right, let's sit the old one up there. The old leddy there. 
little lead sled there. So, you know, we're eliminating this little stepped overlap here. I, uh, I don't see any advantage. That's just a production consideration. And yeah, so we're just going to weld all that in there. there. We're not, we only got to produce one. So if it's a little bit, let's see your. Well, I'm working on the Mark II. Oh, you Mark didn't one, like it? I'm not overly pleased with. It's okay. Uh huh. But, uh, should have put the fold in afterwards. So. Oh, I see. Mind you, looking at it, it might work. No, I'm gonna leave that because I think if I yeah, fuck yeah. around, I'm just gonna make it worse. So I might move on to back here because this is a complete shambles. There, yeah. I remember cutting this all off at one and just being like, what the fuck? Once these pieces are made, we can actually start welding it if you think that we're gonna be close. Yeah. And I think what we do when we put it together is we will. Fender flares. We're gonna. <laughs> fender flares, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I'll get Ashley to get us some fan yeah, yeah, flares. Or Kyle has nice. some yeah. flares, yeah. Just radius them out, put some slicks in. <laughs> yeah, it can't be better than that. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I'll we'll probably use this one then here. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, right on. yeah that'll and do the... Yeah, uh, so it turns, okay, yeah, turns that right. way, and it turns this yeah, it's way. It's got a small roll in yeah, each yeah. direction. It's, yeah, yeah, probably yeah, use this one. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, go. we'll have a look at my piece there. of junk that I made here. <laughs> my little, little junk comparison here. Yeah. yeah. That's anyway, got her. look at that, just drops right in. We'll trim everything flush when we actually install it. But uh, pretty happy with it. Perfect. And two pieces. Well, yeah, look at those two guys glove, together. Eh? Look at that. There we go. Reunited. 40, 50 pounds of lead. You'll see. You're so good. on your way. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't tell you guys, but uh, we we see this this rail here. I took took it off to uh, do the quarter panel, and I I lost it for months. Yeah, it almost caused yeah. some real TV yeah, style a, drama. Almost some drama. Yeah. Who done it? Who has the yeah. channel? Yeah. Well, right. So I'm like, I'm sure I took it to Jim's. Pretty yeah, dumb. I yeah. My place and. Uh, and then, but what about a year later i yeah. cleaned my truck and, and it was under the front seat so i did take it to your house i just took it right back home again yeah never actually took it out of the truck and drove around with it for a year so everybody joined up here oh yeah joined forces yeah you have wow. brass you've got some you got welds some damage. yeah damage harsh yeah a bit of original paint a bit of repaint <laughs> a little bit best of, of all worlds yeah see that there we go the rest of the car is actually coming along pretty good. And when I cut the quarter off the car, this was all so mangled. I just ran the grinder right through and just took everything off. So we have some work to do. Uh, I'm going to start by repairing the bottom of this piece. So we're going to do that. And is that it for pieces to make? Yeah, once that's completed. That's then pretty. Then, then, then can we can a... actually start installing it. Yeah, good reminders of what we should have just done. That's right. <laughs> We'd be driving around by now. Yeah, I didn't start picking at it. Well, yeah, later. I know. I knew when you, well, you, I knew you wouldn't be able to not pick at it. Though. First Kyle, now me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> watch out for those used cars. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. Have a hammer. We need Dean, he's a shrinking machine. Oh yeah, he's pretty. He there. loves it. <laughs> pretty? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. right, thank you. Yeah, 
that's the YouTube magic right there. There you go. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, now I'm going to take the grinder. That's nice. Now we got oh, a nice yeah. lip. That looks like a high end hot rod showing up. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing about cars. Sparks. Get your, Pan get to your a grinding burnout. shots in there. <laughs> get some sparks. You don't know what you're doing. There's no sparks. <laughs> Last little yeah. shot, like you yeah. really care. Old Sparkman's grass, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that. Mesmerized by the sparks, and that's it. Where's the. <laughs> you gotta look seriously at it, like you're serious, like. Oh, yeah. Then look concerned. Yeah. If you're worried that it might not come out just the way you want it. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait for my monologue in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I already felt like Jim let the team down today. I don't know what the fuck Scott was doing with that grind. <laughs> <laughs> these look like shit. <laughs> what do you think he was fooling? <laughs> Polishing that turd. Yeah, right? There, that looks magnificent. Now we have to do a tiny bit of adjustamentes, and then it's done. Scott fucked around on that stupid <laughs> piece. <laughs> I was uh, him, I'd be real. <laughs> this was a real TV show, he'd be fired. Or a real shop. Yeah. There. So let that in when you get a second. Yeah. There we go. No, oh, actually better. we did really well. That was, uh, those were hard pieces. I was happy with that. And Where it's gone. It somewhere here. Oh, here it oh, there is. There it is, yeah. Hiding out on the deck. Oh, yeah. look at that. Yeah, once that gets taped on Get that piece of shit yeah. one out of the way. There we go. Give me some more tape. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. that's cool. It's fun. It's fun making your own rentals. Here's our other shitty little trunk drain piece we made. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Drains its way on out. There we go. This piece will be this flat area here. The next piece we have to make is the piece that goes kind of uh, anyway it goes in there somewhere it's a bit of a shit show i just hope the world supply of ice grips holds out yeah right <laughs> ice grips hey, damage, yeah. there's a boatload of ice grips jammed up sideways in the suez canal yeah yeah, yeah that's no right more tin foil you gotta send all your ice grips to the yeah, <laughs> send them the all to the war department too. okay well you know what? You know what? Really, is my favorite part is we were like, "Yeah, we'll do it for summer." <laughs> Sorry, yeah, right. everybody, get, you get a little busy in your Many in your life. Summers you know? come along. There's come lots of summers. We didn't specify. Yeah. I'm still really happy with how well it's coming. Oh like, yeah, it's oh, really yeah. actually going to look okay, which is yeah, this is really pretty mind blowing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was great because that was looking troublesome this morning yeah. or whenever I got here. Yeah, yeah, late this evening. <laughs> late this <laughs> evening. <laughs> The crack of this evening when you show <laughs> Okay, I'm getting out of here. Oh, let's do the uh, let's do the the please subscribe and watch the show part. Well, you've already watched the show. Please subscribe, please. I would like to get sixty thousand subscribers on this terrible, terrible channel with my terrible friends. Sixty. Sixty. We're at fifty-eight as of today. Boy, I need two two k more. Need two thousand more by the end of the year. Sign up your mother. 12 years later, still trying to get 60,000 subscribers. Anyway, hit the thing, hit the old leave a comment button or whatever they say. Push the comment button or you know what to do. What do they say? Smash that like button. Smash the button. Smash that Smash like button. button. Smash that button over your buddy's head. Drop a comment below. <laughs> leave a big steaming comment below. 100,000. 100,000? 100,000 subscribers and I'll cut my hair. And to shave. shave that mane? Shave it, I'll shave it bald. Get her up to 100. And you're going to go cue ball. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> All right. You look Thanks like for watching the show. A bar of prison soap right now. <laughs> I quit. I quit YouTube. I'm going to make one of those I quit YouTube videos. Those always work. <laughs> 
a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>